Welcome to the latest session on the Cornier product series. My name is Snake Kumar, and I'm responsible for managing Cornier's curtain wall, window wall, sun control products, and finishes offering. This session will focus on the characteristics that distinguish storefront, window wall, and curtain wall systems. To guide you on the appropriate application, our goal is to give you a good understanding of the differences in their typical performances, construction and installation methods, and water management. First, let's look at storefront. These glazing systems are installed within the structure of the building and in low-rise building. They are used to span between the floor slabs. Typically, storefronts are limited to use on buildings up to four stories. The design loads increase the higher you get. As you can see from a typical storefront cross section, these are not massive systems, usually with a two inch sight line and four and a half inch frame depth. They have relatively short vertical and horizontal spans due to the dead load and wind load constraints of their framing system. Water is managed by channeling it from the horizontal into the vertical and down to the subsill flashing where it weeps out. The height of the upturned leg of the subsill flashing dictates the water performance of the system. Storefront systems are secured into the rough opening via fasteners that run through the glazing pockets of the frame into the surrounding condition. They need to have sufficient structure around the perimeter of the frames to which they can be shimmed and secured. Storefronts are intended for single span applications only as they do not have the accessories required for twin spans. The size of glass and spacing of verticals are also limited by the structural requirements. The most common construction method is screw splice. In some cases, shear block can be used, which requires higher labor to assemble, or stick fabrication if there are long uninterrupted openings. They can be assembled in the field. However, we are seeing increasing use of pre-glazed storefronts in the factory to minimize field labor to install these products. Now, let's review curtain wall system. This is a non-bearing exterior wall supported by the structural members of the building. It is secured to the exterior structure where storefront is slab to slab. Curtain walls are designed for applications requiring greater structural requirements. Mullions are usually deeper than storefronts and heavier to accommodate taller or multi-floor spans. At 14 feet or taller, elevations require wider vertical spacing, which creates more dead load than storefront stand support. This makes a significant difference between the weight and depth of the two systems. Spanning past floor lines for multi-floor application, a curtain wall needs to have the capability to splice verticals. Multiple extrusions have to be spliced one on top of the other to continue up an elevation. Tall elevations cannot dead load all the way to the slab, so the system demands dead load anchors to transfer the weight of the elevation back to the structure behind it. In some cases, the mullions might span past a floor line without the need for dead load. A wind load anchor will prevent the mullion from deflecting inward, yet still allow the slab to deflect up and down under live load. You can see the floor lines behind these elevations where the spandrel glass is used. Curtain walls are designed to accommodate midpoint anchors while a storefront is not. They can be used from ground level all the way to the top of a high-rise building, unlike a storefront, which is recommended for below four stories. The curtain wall system manages water for each pane of glazing as an individual zone, allowing it to achieve much higher performance. 
Looking at the cross section of a typical curtain wall system, we can see that it's structurally stronger with a deeper frame and thicker walls compared to a storefront, as is the availability of various depth to accommodate the range of wind load and dead load. The most common sight line is two and a half inch with deeper glazing pockets than storefront frames. There are a range of product options depending on construction and installation methods. A stick curtain wall is assembled and glazed on site, while a unitized curtain wall is fully assembled and glazed in the factory, reducing the labor in the field to install. A semi-unitized curtain wall can be assembled in ladders and at times pre-glazed to provide faster installation than a stick system. A stick curtain wall could be glazed from the interior or exterior. Interior glazing eliminates the need for exterior scaffolding and access, thus reducing installation cost. Two common construction methods for curtain wall frames are either screw spline or shear block, depending on the product design. Glass size, design load, vertical mullion spacing, water performance, and other performance and installation criteria will drive selection. Overall, curtain wall installation costs are typically much greater than a storefront. However, the high price system comes with a high performance. Window walls have been around for more than 20 years. They combine the attributes and features of both storefront and curtain wall to offer an alternative solution for mid to high rise buildings. Take a look at the Denver condominium building with continuous aluminum and glass on the exterior. It has the look of a curtain wall, yet the horizontals appear to have a bolder sight line. Here, the verticals run slab to slab within the structure of the building, similar to storefront. The bold horizontals are a slab edge cover set in receptors within the head and sill of the frames creating the aesthetics of a curtain wall. Slab edge covers can be extruded aluminum, an ACM panel, or spandrel glass, giving design freedom to architects. Window walls also align the plane of glass and slab edge cover to further mimic a curtain wall. This cross section shows these framing systems are typically higher performing than storefront and can accommodate various frame depths but are not up to the performance level of curtain walls. Window walls manage water in a hybrid technique. Using a sill receptor and end dams similar to storefront, they achieve a higher performance due to the pressure equalization principle in their design. Screw spline is the most common construction method for window wall framing. They can be assembled and glazed in the field, or units could be pre-assembled and glazed in the factory. Installation starts with the setting of the subsill and head receptors, followed by the glazing unit. A subsill and head receptor make the installation more labor intensive than a unitized curtain wall. Going between the slabs, they can be fitted from the inside avoiding scaffolding and reducing the installation cost compared to an exterior glazed curtain wall, accommodating vents and sliding or terrace doors depending on the application. Window wall products are a common choice in multifamily building applications. From a thermal perspective, building energy codes treat these products similarly and have the same performance expectation. For example, prescriptive U factor. All three systems can achieve high thermal performance, accommodate triple glazing and warm edge spacers to go beyond the current energy code requirements and creating highly insulating facades. Additionally, all can be integrated with vents, windows, entrances, doors, depending on the application. In summary, based on performance, you have storefront, then window wall, 
followed by the higher performing curtain wall. And as you would expect, they are priced in the same order. Storefront is limited by its use. A curtain wall is the most robust with its performance and options, although it is also the most expensive. While a window wall offers an economical solution where the performance requirements are not as high as a curtain wall. That concludes today's session, and I hope I have provided helpful information for you to take away. To learn more about these products, I encourage you to visit cornier.com or contact our architectural services team today. Thanks for joining me, and I hope to see you soon again.